Donald Trump just Donald Trumped at the memorial of one of his biggest supporters with a truly bizarre speech. The former President of the United States isn't a big fan of talking about much other than himself, and so he did exactly that when he was invited to the stage for the funeral of a Nighthaw Lynette Hardaway. The late vlogger and her sister her Nighthaw Rochelle Hardaway Richardson, aka Silk, rose to online fame, thanks to their ongoing support of Trump during his presidency. Diamond sadly passed away earlier this month aged 51, and to honor her memory, her sister held a gathering on Saturday, January 21, in Fayetteville, North Carolina. But the proceedings took a pretty bizarre turn when Trump was invited to the stage. He opened up on all manner of things, from inflation and the federal budget to a dig at the fact that the service went on longer than he'd been promised. In a clip that's doing the rounds online, he says, the world has lost one of its brightest stars, a real star. But I see that we have another star who is equal too, but she stepped up and she is different. The former president also admitted he didn't really know Silk. Trump continues, I knew Diamond, but I didn't know Silk at all. I just learned about Silk. You're fantastic, you're going to carry on beyond anybody's wildest imagination. Elsewhere in the eulogy, Trump also took a jab at the three-hour-long service, saying it's a little longer than the 15 to 20 minutes he was promised. But the Trumpiest moment arrived when he went into his political grievances, claiming once again that the 2020 election was stolen from him. How do we stop the cheating? How do we stop it where you get more votes but you still don't win? He asks the crowd, who are there to remember the life of Diamond? The answer is, the Republicans have to get tougher, the top people have to get tougher and you have to really swamp them, he says, adding, once we're there we're going to straighten it all out and get it back to where it was. He's probably the only person who can try and give an optimistic speech about the future at a person's funeral. Speaking of which, in another segment he says, we can fix inflation. We can fix so much of what's been damaged over the last two years. Trump then goes on to accuse countries of allowing their prisons and mental institutions to be emptied out into the United States of America before suggesting that the U.S. gives money to nations that hate them. Twitter has been ablaze with hilarious reactions to the clips, with one writing, reminds me of my Grammy's funeral, when we all took turns spouting off conspiracy theories unrelated to her. Wasn't a dry eye in the house. Miss you Grammy. However, others didn't find the speech so amusing, including this person who said, what a selfish, disrespectful thing to do at someone's funeral. I bet he offered to sign her guest's funeral programs as a finale. Don't be giving him any more big ideas.